Now to an incredible and heartwarming story of a Boston man finally living out his lifelong dream. Now, Eddie is a painter, but hasn't been recognized much for his work. That was until hmm. WBZ News Radio's Matt Shearer entered the picture. <laughs> You're witnessing someone's dream come true here. But it got me in here. First, the backstory. <laughs> a couple months ago, I bought this painting from a guy here in Copley Square. I should be up there with Picasso. <laughs> His name is Ed Johnson, or Eddie. All kinds of things just pop up in my head, you know. He told me he's 71 years old, been doing art forever, and the one thing he really wants I'll go as artists. is to see his work in a gallery. Get in a gallery. That's where Sitka comes in. You know, and somebody needs help, you know, you, you help them. He and his wife Helene remember walking through Boston as struggling artists with similar dreams. And I'm like, Helene, I wish I had one painting in one of these galleries. 35 years later, he owns the place, Sitka Home on Newbury Street. Since it's right around the corner from Copley, I had to show Eddie. Oh, and introduce him to Sitka. Man, he's good. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. Actually, Eddie, there's only one painting in here that's not Sitka's. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it got me in here. Wow, it's me, Ed Johnson. If somebody wants to purchase it or auction it off, yeah. we would love to give the proceeds to you. Oh, that'd be beautiful, man. <laughs> yeah. I, not just that, it'd make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know, people think that much about you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they know. Sika and Helene never forget where they came from. We, we should be helping each other. It's people. That's, that's just what life was all about. They got my drawing in there, in the gallery. And they like my stuff, too. It's, it's way out. <laughs> Becoming a, to be a good friend now. <laughs> we ended up swapping it out for one that Sitka and Eddie both liked better. And as of me posting this, it's still there. So please check it out while you can and consider supporting both incredible local artists. In Copley, I'm Matt Shearer. For more, ask Alexa to play WBZ News Radio on iHeartRadio. You had me talking like I ain't never talked this much before. <laughs> oh, we're so glad you got him talking. WBZ yes. News Radio's Matt Shearer. You recognize the face, and I'm sure you've seen some of the awesome stories. Yeah. We're so glad to have you here on set. <laughs> oh, thank you. What an incredible story. You could see just the joy yeah. of him just feeling seen. Yeah, that's what inspired the whole thing, because I bought the painting from him months before doing the story with no intention of publicizing it in any way, and I could tell just talking to him and giving him an opportunity to talk to somebody about his art, he spent so much time on it. It's his passion. I mean, it made his day doing that, so I said, how can I make his life? I don't know if it made his life, but having his art in a gallery, he did tell me, was one of his big goals, and thanks to Sitka and Helene over at Sitka Home on Newbury Street, they made it happen. And you know one of the one of the the great joys of being a journalist is when you see your work actually uh, making yeah. change. In this case, yeah. what was it like to watch the story unfold? Where you did the original story, it starts to catch on, and then you're there as he's looking at his painting yeah. and having a big chuckle, saying, "That's me." What has it been like? Oh, it's the best feeling in the yeah. world, and especially knowing that this is going to lead to really great things for Eddie. Yeah. Sitka and Helene are so generous; they have the greatest hearts. They're actually doing some fundraising for Eddie. I'll put up a link on my Instagram story. Um, um, they're going to auction off the painting as well, so Eddie should make a pretty good amount nice. of uh, money off of this whole thing. And I also want to make sure that uh, if you do go to see it, again, it's at Sitka Home on Newbury Street, you also got to check out some of Sitka's art, too. It's unreal. Yeah. He painted this shirt right here. He, it's wow. so bright and colorful. He has one of the coolest styles of any artist I've seen in Boston. Literal mom-and-pop shop right there. And this just shows you the value of kindness. You never know who you're walking past, who you're running into right. on yeah. the streets of Boston. And now, this man's life, entire life is about to be changed for the better. I hope so. He's a great guy. Eddie is a really nice dude. And he usually sets up with selling his paintings in front of the CVS in Copley Square. So if you want to talk to him or check out some of his art, that's where you can find him. And that's one of the cool things I think about this story is now everyone knows who Eddie is. They'll go down, check out his yeah. work. And I have a feeling you have another story on Eddie coming up at some point. I think we'll have a very positive uh, thing to come. Yeah, to be continued. Yeah. And thanks for always making us laugh with your stories as well. You made us yes. cry tonight, but thanks for always making thank us laugh. You. They are always really yeah. fun. Well, thank you. I mean, it's a, I watch you you guys every night and it's so cool to be here and to be meeting you in person <laughs> I mean, please, we're, we're social media buddies yeah. I think are you on threads now yeah, maybe we're we'll threads see. buddies oh you're not thread, you're not on it yet come on get on that David please try all right thank you Matt appreciate yeah. it thank you. Got you. Here at five